Paul Alabama Gardener on growing Christmas butter beans. And be sure to stay tuned to watch the taste testing that goes on at the end of the video. Now in talking about growing Christmas butter beans, uh, no, we're, we're really not growing butter beans at Christmas time, but that's what they're called, Christmas butter beans. And they're really uh, a good bean to grow. Of course, I understand that uh, for most of us, the growing season is already past to grow this type of butter bean. So this is something that you might want to consider or think about growing uh, next year. It is a very uh, prolific climber, so you will need a trellis or a fence for these butter beans to climb on. Now because these seeds are so large, I'm not going to be using soil blocks. Instead, I'm going to use 3 inch plastic pots. Now I want you to take note of the eye of the butter bean. I'm going to put that down. Now we got them all planted, so we want to cover that with about an inch of potting mix. And then, as I always say, water it well and watch it grow. And here we see the first true leaves coming out. These plants are starting to produce runners, so I've got to get them in the ground. Now don't worry about all the grass here. I'm going to mulch this whole area heavy with leaves after I plant the plants. Now I've already dug the holes. Here I'm applying some triple 13 fertilizer because these plants are heavy feeders, as you will see later in this video. Now I don't want any of my plants to be damaged by cutworms, so I'm putting a little twig down beside the stem of each plant. Now I've got to put a string down by each plant to help it run to the top of the trellis that these are planted on. So I put a wire into the ground with a little loop, tie the string to it, and go up and over the top of the trellis and tie it off at the top. Now I'm going to help that plant get started up that string by carefully wrapping the runner part of the plant around the string. You want to be very careful when you're doing this because that runner will snap like a piece of spaghetti. This trellis is about six and a half feet high, and you can see that the plants have ran to the top and are now beginning to hang over the sides. And here are the butter beans that we are looking for. I put this orange mesh, plastic mesh, around it to keep the deer and the rabbits out. These beans are really rather large so I can pick them and stuff them in my pockets. So now we got the beans in the kitchen we can begin shelling them. Christmas butter beans probably get their name from the beautiful color that each of the beans are 
and they're also very large. I kindly gave them a rinse to remove any of the possible little dirt or anything on it. And now I'm going to cover them with about an inch to inch and a half of water. And then I'm going to add a slice of onion and a little bit of salt. And now I'm going to get started heating them up to cook them. And now I'm going to add some special seasoning. And yep, you guessed it. This is plain old pork fat. Yep, it's lard. While the butter beans are cooking, I decided to make a pan of cornbread. So it's ready to come out of the oven now. Don't you just love it when your cornbread doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan? Now let's get back to the butter beans. I'm going to take a potato masher and I'm going to mash about one fourth of the butter beans in this pot. And what that's going to do is it's going to make them release their flavor and it's going to flavor up the liquid that's uh, there in this pot. Then I'll stir it all around. Now let's cut us a wedge of cornbread, put a little bit of butter on it, and we're getting ready to eat. And there you have it, hot buttered cornbread. On my butter beans, I like to add a little bit of chopped onion, and I also want what we call some pepper salts. But I don't have any regular pepper salts. But you know what? A little spoonful of this jalapeno liquid will do just fine. That's good. That's really, really good. Good butter beans. Now, let, now let's put a little bit of cornbread on top of it. Mmm, that's good. Plain old, good old country food. That's all it is. Stuff you grow in your garden. <laughs> you know what I'm going to say now. I wish I could share some of this with you. I wish I could 
give you a bite. Can't do it. Next year, grill your own.